longing for light we wait in darkness longing for truth we turn to you make us your own your holy people light for the world to see Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. And together we say, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced. Even to this day, we, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, in all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery toward you. O oh Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings our princes, and our fathers for having sinned against you. 
but yours, O Lord our God, are compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your command, O Lord our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Our psalm response is, Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember not against us the inequities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O oh God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Let the prisoner's sign come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death, that we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you a good measure, packed together, shaken down and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in, turn, in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's first reading proclaims God's expansive mercy and forgiveness, and the gospel calls us to share this mercy and forgiveness with others. This is one way in which the Old Testament sets up a paradigm for holy relationship, and the New Testament responds to it, building upon it through the person of Jesus. The book of Daniel says, O Lord, we are shamefaced having sinned against you. God meets that shame with compassion and forgiveness. The gospel, however, takes this a step further, 
applying the relationship of forgiveness, not only between God and God's people, but between all people. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Jesus expands forgiveness beyond God, calling us to apply the gift of mercy to one another. Holiness does not exist in a vacuum. We live in a community with neighborhoods, families, friends, schools, workplaces. May we have the strength to live Jesus' words, for the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. And now let us bring our prayers and petitions before our Heavenly Father. For the Church and her ministers, that she may never cease to admit her sinfulness before God, acknowledging his justice and pleading for his mercy, we pray to the Lord. That the rulers of this age may heed the prophetic voices that cry out for the life of the unborn, justice for the oppressed, and peace for all, we pray to the Lord. Amen. That today's gospel message, direct and powerful as it is, may change our lives, and we may become merciful and forgiving, even as our Heavenly Father is merciful. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For all who are brought very low, especially for the prisoners whose sighing comes before the Lord, and for all who have asked for our prayers, we pray to the Lord. For those who have gone before us, that the measure of their good gifts may be shaken down and overflowing in the kingdom of heaven, we pray to the Lord. The intention for this Mass is for Dan Young, we pray to the Lord. And now in the silence of our hearts, let us offer up our own petitions. For these we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear these prayers spoken out loud and held in our hearts, and that you grant them as all things through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in your goodness these prayers, O Lord, and set free from worldly attractions those you allow to serve the heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, so that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please join us in singing our communion hymn, Transfiguration, number 496, number 496. Jesus on the mountain peak stands alone in glory blazing. Let us, if we dare to speak, join the saints and angels praising. Praise and glory. Let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, cleanse us of wrongdoing and make us heirs to the joy of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And as we go forth, please join us in singing, Lead Me, Guide Me, number 654. Number 654. Stay. 